Okay, in this video I'm going to show you several different ways of adding colors and uh, changing the colors of your banners. So, there's different ways of doing this and you can change the colors of the main background. You can change the colors of these shapes. You can change the colors of all the uh, copy and paste elements. And there's different ways of doing all of this. So, if you want to change the colors of the main background, uh, select the background layer and you can either use the the paint bucket tool which will give it a solid color or the gradient tool so let's use the paint bucket tool first you choose the paint bucket you go to this color selection screen here and choose the color that you want to use okay so choose the color and then with the paint bucket tool just click on the background layer. Make sure that it's selected again. Okay, so just choose the color, click, and the background changes. You can also add gradients, which look a little bit better than just solid colors, with the gradient tool. And again, you select the colors by going to these uh, to these boxes here. And for the gradient tool, you got to select two different colors, the foreground and the background. And once you have that, just play around with it, choose the colors. Uh, now with the gradient tool, you click on one point and then drag to another point and you get a different gradient. Basically it goes from background to foreground using the two colors that you selected and this just gives it a more you know just more different little better looking and more professional you know look so that's for the background uh, let me show you how to change the colors of these shapes here again there's different ways of doing this one way of doing it is a uh, going to edit, uh, fill layer, choose color, and then just choose the color that you like. And the shape gets a new color on it. Now if you want to add a, a gradient to this, what you can do is a uh, hold command on the keyboard and this will create a little selection around the layer and then just click on it and this will create like a selection around whatever shape you have then go to layer and you can do new fill layer and go to gradient you can name it whatever you want to name it Press OK and then just choose the gradient that you like. Okay, so you can choose something like a black gradient and then uh, uh, click OK here and click OK and this creates a gradient over the shape for you and then when you change the color of the shape so the color of the shape changes and you still have that gradient over here Which you can turn on or off or you can also choose the the blending options for it and this will basically make it instead of just black it will make the black blend in in different ways into your layer okay so that's another way of changing the colors what you can also do is uh, 
apply some built-in effects from Photoshop elements to make you know to add even more style to these uh, shapes okay, so just double click on the effect that you like they come pre-built into Photoshop elements so you should have something like this in the effects palette okay so you can add all kinds of different effects to your layers Again, you can just play around with this, see what you get. But you can create all kinds of different looks by using these uh, effects here. And of course, another way of changing the color is you can apply the, the layer styles like I showed you in the last video. By uh, opening one of these or both uh, PSD files here click it in the style that you like then go into layer, layer style copy and pasting it over into the shape so you can also change colors that way so you're not stuck with the colors that you see here, you don't have to use these shapes as black shapes or the background the same color that I have here. You can play around with it, change the colors to whatever you want. So it's very, very customizable. And the cool thing is that all these shapes and effects come preloaded, so all you have to do is pretty much turn them on, move them around, and then just uh, change the colors. And you're pretty much done. So that's it for colors. And I'll see you in another video.